Hello, I'm John Richards. I'm the chairman of Winchester Talking Newspaper and Steve Bryan MP is here today as a guest reader. He's going to be joined by our other three readers who are here today and the presenter, Ros Lydiard. That, then I talk the usual stuff about who are editors, etc. Yes. Then I'll introduce our team in the order that they normally sit. Then we carry on then with what's on for the readers. Light Pay to see City's bonfire night show, safety concerns prompt admission fee. Bonfire night revellers will have to pay an entry fee for the first time to attend this year's popular Winchester fireworks event. Organisers Winchester Round Table made the announcement at a launch event at Abbey House on Tuesday evening, citing safety concerns as a yeah, main My name is Ros Lydiard and I've been presenting this week's team for the Talking Newspapers for the Blind. Uh, we had a really good time actually. It's nice to have somebody new, and particularly Steve, in to like to change our routine. We had a really good reading some quite interesting articles and uh, yes we'd like to have him back please <laughs> thank We've you just come out of doing the recording of this week's winchester talking newspaper reading the hampshire chronicle for blind and partially sighted people across the winter district what great fun we were in there for a couple of hours reading a selection of stories and letters from this week's chronicle and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I was really honoured to be asked to do it. Um, there are almost up to uh, about 100 people now who have the, the memory stick and listen back to the paper each week. If you want to do that, please ring Winchester 808 085 and uh, they will be making sure they add you to it. And you too can enjoy the Chronicle and listen to it.